All right, guys, welcome back to today's next episode. Let's start with our pre-flight check. Check. Bastard sword is in hand. <laughs> and let's continue on our way. I don't recall what I have detected and what I've not, so let's do that right at the bat. All right, good thing. Not good thing because we detected anything threatening, but good thing because we obviously hadn't done any spells given these other things showed up. Let's head for that loose floorboard thing. Loose rock or whatever and see if it's a... got a sweet-ass potion under it. What are you? Magic user. I like it when they drop stuff, but I really want them to drop a potion. That would be the ideal here. What was it? Scroll of create food. Let's just use it. <laughs> drop the faux shard for a minute. Pick that up. Read L. Pick that up. Eat the mush. And I'll take the wand of light in preference to the faux shard. I'm not going to use the faux shard. And the wand of light is probably worth a decent amount of money. Am I using the wrong thing again? I don't know what's going on here. Alright. Definitely using the bastard sword. screen. Clear up the sight line a little bit. Got a giant over there. It's been a long while since we've detected nothing, eh? Definitely no, no way through here. A long while since we've met a giant who is actually a threat to us. The cloud giant, I think, is the most powerful we've met yet, and they are not particularly threatening. Then again, we're always protected from evil when we face them, so maybe they are threatening, we just don't know it. A second pair of hard leather boots, which I'm going to keep. P, C, B, West. P, C, E. Uh, well, we may have to face it, uh, Stone Giant. Well, let's face it without uh, protections in place. Learn a little something about its attack. It only gets one attack per turn, not that big a deal. I'm going to keep these as well because, um, well, because they're, uh, there's a possibility they're magical and we need, we need better boots, so I'll take them. Dropped the Amulet of Slow Digestion. What just happened? I killed something. <laughs> Oh, it's those invisible, invisible what's it's. Invisible what's it's being the, the name I have given the apparently invisible mushroom patches or fungus in the absence of a, uh, of knowing what to call them, because I've never actually seen them. I guess I could cast Sense Invisible and actually learn what they are. Let me, uh, in a second, I'll go back there and try that, just to... It's just diagonal, it is. Rot Jelly, not a threat, but whatever. Let's PCB it. Boom. PCB. Boom. I faint from fatigue. Have I not been eating? What's going on here?
I'll have to watch the video and see what that said. I don't think we're hungry. It doesn't say anything about being hungry. Faint from fatigue. As I understand it, if I try to cast a spell that costs more mana than I have, it asks me, are you sure you want to do this? The gods may think you presumptuous. And if you press any key other than yes, it dismisses it and it takes it as a no. Um, I mean, I didn't take a constitution hit from it the way I did that one time way back in episode 18 when I did choose to be presumptuous to survive. Um, so I really don't know what happened there. Um, I didn't give it the okay to to proceed with a spell that I couldn't afford. So how it came to pass that, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Let's rest. When I watch the video back, hopefully I'll get a clearer understanding. Hey, we have one more mana now, by the way. 41. That's not much, but it's something. So mana appears to be not just a function of your wisdom. It's a function of your level as well, which I guess is... I guess we probably knew that. Come to think of it. Whoops, I didn't want to cast that. I want to cast these. That's interesting, hey? Eh? Look at this. This is still lit. That's where we were standing when we cast Cure Poison. And when we killed the tick, the white tick. So either the, the body of the tick is glowing, or casting a spell in a hallway apparently lights it up. That makes no sense. Out of curiosity, let's try casting PCA again. No, it doesn't light up the thing that way. I don't know if it's a if it's a I don't know what that is. Is it a glitch in the game? Did I just find an error? A bug? It's not a particularly important bug if it is, but it's or a particularly common bug. I've never seen it before. But it's interesting, I'd say. Or else there's occasional hallways with a torch in it. You know, and that's just a lit bit of hallway. I've never seen that before in the entirety of playing this game, though. It strikes me as unlikely. That's odd. If we go back, is it still lit? Yep. That's weird, man. I don't know what's going on there. Unless the giant white tick is glowing, and its corpse stays glowing or something, I don't know. I don't think they leave corpses in this game. I don't believe that's part of the game that records the corpse position. I think it's just... Um, they just disappear from the map when they're killed, I believe. I don't know. kill. Killed something. Something invisible. Dropped a bunch of arrows. I don't need arrows. I need potions, damn it. Give us all your potions. That's the only thing we care about on this level, really. Oh, for fuck's sakes. My bar chainmail got damaged. On the, oh, and my large metal shield. So we took a couple of hits to the AC there. That's unfortunate. See, if we had um, Infravision... That would go a long way towards allowing us to uh, detect those things in advance and not get killed by them or hurt by them. Gold is fine, guys, but it doesn't do me much good. I need the fucking potions. Hear me well. Unless the potions become available for sale in the stores. I've said that a billion times. Without a doubt, we have noticed that occasionally, um, as the game progresses, 
there are more valuable items available in the store to purchase than there were before. So there's hope that the potions will eventually show up, but it's not great hope because I've never heard anybody else mention it. They all mention coming down to this level. When I've read any online forums in the last day or two about uh, for tips, um, they've all mentioned coming to this level and searching for these potions. So, so here we are. We're here. Where are the potions? Let's get this potion party started. Alright, let's protect ourselves from evil so that thing can't confuse us and kill us like it did our previous best character. Just checking if he dropped any items. Apparently not. Let's progress onwards because we are protected. I wish Waybread. Wand of Wonder. Alright, let's um, drop something for a second. Let's eat the whey bread. I'm full. Do I want this? I don't need the staff of summoning. We, uh, well, we, we could do it again, I guess. I mean, maybe it'd be useful. I don't know. Do we dare try it again? What if we try it right here? And then we can shut the door if we need to. Let's rest first. Don't do that without a resting first. Giant static ant, and so we know nothing about that. Maybe it's worth a good amount of experience if we're lucky. And a silver jelly can drain our light. What do we want to do here? Let's try PC being to the west. Oh, it didn't work. The ant moved. Let's quickly hit the jelly. All right, so we have a way to run now if we if we choose to. Static ant. I wonder if it disenchants. Because often when uh, when something that disenchants hits us, it says you feel there's a sense of static in the air or something like that. All right, we killed it. Whatever. I didn't note my experience. I wish I had. But at least we got one. Hey, let's try that again. Let's try it in here so we get more monsters out of it. Let's rest up. Um, giant ant lion and a blue beetle. Let's head this way. Do we know anything about the gray ant lion? Yeah, we've killed them before. They're worth 86.7. I mean, this isn't the worst way to gain experience, I guess. Where'd the fucking beetle go? Are they short-lived, maybe? Maybe they don't last long when you summon them. That's really weird. Giant black scorpion. You feel very sick. Crimson Mold. I resisted the effects of the Crimson Mold. Let's go to here. Take on the Scorpion. If it's only poisoning us, I think we're okay. 34708. Uh, that was worth 81. It's a brand new monster, though. Let's he heal ourselves. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. PCA. PCB to the north. Several creatures. What the hell is going on? Maybe I summoned something invisible. Let's rest. Let's um, check this guy out. You can touch to terrify, but all right. Um, I don't need to do this, but I want to know if there's an invisible or something. No, I didn't see anything. I tried to sense invisible. That did me no good. I oh, forgot to say, come on. I mean, it's it's closing the distance a little. I don't know. There's only so many uh, there's only so many charges in this thing, so I'm gonna keep doing it for now. There's no charges left. Okay, let's drop it. <laughs> drop the staff of summoning. Well, that was a fun little interlude. Umber Hulk. Ah, oh, for God's sake. All right, we're protected from it. I don't think these things are really a great threat anymore. I mean, nothing should be taken lightly, but uh, 
I think they're a great threat. That said, better to protect ourselves. This thing is still lit, eh? Such a weird little, um... Glitch? Another one, eh? PCE. Oh, for God's sake. PCE. Alright. Alright. Um, I don't want to keep going because I want to do detections. What is this guy? Berserker. He's not evil. What do we know about him? We've killed one of them now. Not worth much, eh? 60-ish. Technically from an earlier depth, I just coincidentally didn't meet them till now. None of this is what I need. White jelly is nothing. The iron golem we can kill by walking it back. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. How much is it worth, by the way? 130 still. There's dead. This guy, I think, he poisoned in a worst case scenario, but he's not tough. We'll finish exploring the entirety of this map. Hopefully, find one of those darn potions. Or more. One or more. And then uh, head back to the surface to get our. <laughs> to try to get our. Uh, strength back. Yeah, the next time I encounter those invisible what's it's I'm going to cast Sense Invisible just because uh, I just want a name for them. I want to have an answer, you know? Shit. Alright. Forest White, I can definitely protect myself from evil with them. Provided I cast the spell successfully, of course. Let's just try it again. God damn it. Alright, well we are in it for the uh, long haul now. we got to uh, kill it so we can drink a potion of uh, restore life levels. Do that right now. Quaff. All right, so our health is back. Unfortunately, uh, we gained, as far as I can tell, zero experience for killing that thing because, um, god damn it again. P C E. All right, we this one at least we stopped. It's to the southwest. All right, I killed it. I gotta drink again a potion. Damn it. It was a banshee, probably. And again, I got nothing out of that. Why don't you drop a potion already? Come on. The adventurer in me and the guy who wants to level up in me. I, I'm, you know, I want to experiment with this just once. I just want to know if it's true. I'm going to briefly drop my wand of light. Carry this mushroom of unhealth, and I'm going to chuck it at the next monster I see it and see if it dies. What was that? What are you? 
magic user. Let's throw a mushroom of unhealth at it. I killed it. <laughs> so that dude wasn't lying. Those things are can do some damage. I should maybe theoretically consider carrying them. That's interesting to... <laughs> like, who the hell would ever learn that? Again, especially if if you come from other games, you know, Brogue is a great example. Brogue, if you find a potion, you can drink it or you can throw it. And it will have whatever effect it has. Drinking it will have that effect on you. Throwing it will have the effect on whatever you throw it at. Um, but we tested that, man. We tested it repeatedly and found no evidence that that was supported in this game. So why the hell would I ever guess that specifically throwing that exact mushroom at something would have the effect? Come on, man. Next thing we're going to do is uh, test and see his you can tunnel to fill in a pit idea. Is that true? No, you can't tunnel through it, so that's not that's not true. At least not with a shovel, but it can probably disarm it. Disarm to the west? There. So you can disarm pits. That's absolutely true. All right. Uh, what are we going to drop? Drop a wand of light. Yes. That's all I can afford to drop. We're going to take the... We leave the wand of searching, take the ring of protection. Hopefully we're almost done this level. We can get back up to the surface. Jeez, guys. P, C, B. Northeast. P, A, E. P, C, B. Northeast. Alright, we got those things. What is this? Alright, let's rest. Let's PCB it. Oh, fuck off. Come on, man. I'm not really paying attention, am I, to when is appropriate to... Alright, there we go. Rest again. If you're gonna give me a creature to kill, make it tough. Make it something that's you know worth my time killing. No. I guess I can't rest, can I? Potion. Show me the potions! That was my Jerry Maguire in Moria impression. Don't even know what I killed. Don't much care. done my detections. Good thing I did. Alright, that's it over here. Just to fill in this, whoops, qu quick gap. I'm gonna go down here. Fill this shit in, okay. Go back the way we came so we don't accidentally hit the wrong button and step on that trap. And go up here. Nothing. Nothing there. Whoops, I didn't see what we killed. Giant white ant. I think we've faced them before, although I'm not sure, to be honest with you. 
Let's do a quick uh, map check. Obviously, there's something I've missed to the you know west from here because there's a trap hovering in the darkness. What's this thing worth? Meh, 65. Shows you how far we've come when we're like 60 and 70. I'm like shrugging it off like, eh, who really cares? Hardly worth our time. But that's about all we're going to be finding on this level. I think it's like 60s and 70s. We might get really lucky with an out-of-depth monster that's like worth 300 or something. It could happen. We still only met that one Black Knight. I would love to meet another one of those and learn more about it. I was intrigued with that creature. And that would appear to be it. That's our map, boys and girls. There's nothing else that's really uh, needing to be searched. Let's get out of here. Let's read a scroll of recall. Let's get back to the town. Try and do a quick sail. We'll finish the... Whoops. Hello, fire giant. Let's try and kill it before we get back. Yes. Grab his money. We'll try and do a quick sail, and we'll, we'll, we'll finish selling no matter what. We'll finish selling while we're here. All right, let's get a duplicate of our beginner's handbook. So we don't have one of those, right? A triplicate, rather. P-A-A. -A. Uh, we'll offer 20. Plus 2. Plus 2. All right, we now have three of all of the books. I think we can probably safely stop buying those. Let's buy Potion of Cure Critical Wounds. Cure Critical Wounds. F. As many of those as he'll sell us. Alright, words of recall, we need those. Come on, man, just give me a give me a solid price and just stick to it. Okay. We got two of those. Okay, we have all those we need. Uh, there's nothing else here we need to buy. Can we sell him anything that's of uh, use to sell? Nope. Nothing we want to sell him, so we are done in this store officially for this trip. Let's go look for identify scrolls. We should probably start our journey here. Purchase D. Of course I can't. <laughs> what am I carrying? Eh, Christ's sake. I will go and... You know what? I'll buy them back if we want them. Let's just see if he has anything for sale. It's excellent. No, he does not. Let's sell him our other hard leather boots. Come on, he won't for thirty he won't do it? Come on, really? Those are plus three, plus three. We're probably going to buy those back right now. Before we do, let's head out here. Let's unequip. Let's take off, rather. T, capital T for take off. I mention that one all the time because it's a, it's one that we hardly ever use. So it's not a, f a command you might be familiar with. Um, sell the other pair of hard leather boots in case they're even better. Have I forgotten already how much they're fucking worth? Come on. Fine. Okay, let's buy back the first pair. Let's put those on. Where? V, right? V. Alright. We, uh, we've netted three armor class out of that. And we freed up an inventory slot and therefore can go over here and buy some scrolls of identify. Alright, we got a few of them. Let's read scroll of identify. I'm doing the helmet. I'm, same thing as last time, just in case. That's yeah, plus one. 
Let's wear that, wear a V. It has the exact same armor class as our soft leather cap, but it has five armor class innate and only one enchantment, which means it'll be easier to enchant. So that's a pretty good deal. What else can we read about? Let's read the scroll about the ring. The Alexandrite ring, S. Ring of Woe. I don't know for sure what that does, but it sure don't sound nice. Let's just step up here and drop that. Drop S. All right, let's read our final scroll of identify. RE. I'm thinking a word of protection. Or, uh, pardon me, a uh, ring of protection. Plus one. All right, whatever. Now let's go sell crap. Because that's all the identifies we've got. All right, sell. The old soft leather cap, heavily enchanted. That's got to be worth 600 gold, right? All right, fair enough. Good enough. Anything else to sell him? Nothing. Sell. Other ring of protection. For 300 minus 25. Again, really don't want to get thrown out, so I'll just kind of uh, go quickly through this stuff. Does he have um, a staff of teleport? Would sure be nice, but he doesn't have one. So let's sell him uh, our amulet of charisma for 300 minus 15. Oh, nice. <laughs> Staff of Cure Light Wounds, we sure don't want that for 300. Sell him Wand of Wonder for 500, 400. Anything else? I think that's all we're selling him. He's got nothing else we want. We're done with him. Let's head up here. Anything to sell? No. Does he have any, like, super awesome ego weapons? He does not. We're done in here. So we're back to five. For the usuals. Uh, enchant weapon to dam. Oh, he's got a couple of them, thank God. How about some enchant weapon to hit? Just the one, but whatever. He does not have a potion of restore strength, which really sucks. Alright, the bastard sword's getting up. Ooh, twice. And... Alright, all of them. So, plus one to hit, plus two to damage. Uh, regardless, even though it's not... Um, even though he doesn't have the potion of strength we really wanted, that was still a very profitable trip to town. It helped out a lot. Again, I know we keep saying we're going to stop carrying food, but I'm not going to yet. I don't know why. I feel like it's a safety net. I feel comfortable with it. All right. We have nothing to sell here. No. That's it, guys. Let's head back down to the dungeon and call it quits. Again, when we get down there, we're going to try and head back to 1250 as fast as we can. There we go. Okay, I'm saving it right here. I'm not even going to cast... Oh, yeah, I will do my last double check. Yes, we are using the Bastard Sword. I won't cast any of the detection spells so that I remember... If I detect something evil, I won't be wondering at the or forgetting at the start of the next video that we did. So, all right, have a good one, guys. I'll be back when I'm back.